In this video, we're going to take a look at another application of the NPER function. This time, we're going to look at how long it's going to take to pay off a loan. Uh, we've got the blanks over here on the left. Uh, this is what we're trying to compute, so it's X'd out. And once we figure the number of periods, we can divide by the periods per year to determine the number of years. That's also X'd out. And we'll compute both of those answers over here. So let's start identifying the data. First example, we are borrowing hundred thousand dollars that's going to be your present value and we're going to pay eight hundred dollars every month so that's going to be 12 periods per year and our annual interest rate is 5.5 percent and the ending balance on this is we're going to pay off the loan so it's going to be zero and um, we are paying at the end of every month so that's a zero now all we have to do is to determine the number of periods is go to our formulas tab, go to the financial group, scroll down to the ends and NPER. It's the function we want and our rate is going to be the rate per period. The payment is always negative, so that's going to be 800. The present value on a loan is always positive, so that's 100,000. Future value is our zero and the type is going to be zero and it's going to take us 186 periods those are months though so what we need to do is take that number up there and divide it by the number of periods per year and that'll tell us how many years it's going to take us and it's going to take us 15 and a half years to reach our goal